The cryo grinder is a miniaturized mortar and pestle system that combines the effectiveness of manual grinding with the convenience of a handheld homogenizer. It is designed for processing small samples and is most effective when the sample is 100 milligrams or less. The complete system includes a small mortar composed of a porcelain zirconium composite and pestles made of the same composite. The cryogrinder system requires the use of liquid nitrogen, thus a container is necessary to hold the cryogrinder during sample processing. One option is the cryocooler, which was specifically designed for this purpose. It acts as a reservoir for liquid nitrogen and serves to keep the mortar, pestle, and the sample cold throughout processing. As working with liquid nitrogen may be very dangerous, be sure to wear protective safety glasses, lab coat, and gloves. Prepare the work area to prevent accidental spills. For handling the cold mortar, a clean gardening glove or equivalent may be used over a lab glove. The cryo grinder needs to be chilled before use. This can be done by placing the mortar and pestle into a pool of liquid nitrogen or by placing in a cryocooler that has been charged with liquid nitrogen. Allow the mortar and pestle to chill before use. If contamination is a concern, do not submerge the mortar or pestle in the nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is not sterile and may contain significant numbers of microorganisms and contaminating biochemicals. Therefore, chill the mortar and pestle using liquid nitrogen vapors. Sample must be frozen for homogenization. Samples may be previously frozen or frozen directly in the cryogrinder. Once the mortar, pestle, and sample are cold, the sample can be processed. For grinding, fit the shaft of a chilled pestle into the torque wrench. Hold the mortar firmly with a gloved hand and grind by pressing down firmly on the sample for 15 to 20 seconds while the torque wrench is running. The pestle can be moved within the mortar to ensure the sample is completely ground. Do not remove any item from the cryocooler for longer than necessary. When homogenization is completed, transfer the homogenized sample to a clean tube. The tube can be chilled to prevent the sample from warming. You may need to first use a chilled spatula to loosen the powdered sample from the bottom of the mortar. Invert the tube and place over the opening in the mortar. Then invert tube and mortar together and tap the powdered sample into the tube. For heat labile compounds, start the sample processing immediately or return the tube to the cryocooler. The cryo grinder can be disinfected by autoclaving and cleaned with laboratory detergent. Thoroughly dry the mortar and pestle in a low temperature oven before using again. The cryo grinder must be free of moisture before it is chilled again. This concludes the short presentation on the cryo grinder.